Wheelchair dancing is about one thing, and that's having fun. If you're in a chair and you haven't tried dancing, then you don't know what you're missing till you get out there and shake, rattle, and roll. The first time I danced was at a big outdoor festival. Some friends of mine were playing, and I was sitting up front, just moving to the music, and next thing I knew, some friends of mine came over, some women friends, and they were dancing with me and moving. Kind of went, hey, this feels great. And uh, well, I, I've been a musician for a long time, and I guess it always was that uh, the next best thing to play in music was dancing to music. So. I found out that since I've been in the wheelchair, I've still been able to do that. First time I went wheelchair dancing was a little demeaning. I couldn't pirouette or shag like I used to, and I realized you had to become more creative. And uh, after I become a little more creative and a little more comfortable, uh, dancing kind of flowed. And it was really enjoyable. I think disabled people are necessarily creative. You have to be to survive, and dance is just an expression of that. You just have to get out there and try it. There are a lot of things uh, that you're not going to do, not that you're not going to be able to do like you used to, but you'll adapt a new way of doing it. And you just got to figure out a different way of doing it. I love to dance. Um, I've danced all my life and I've been in a chair all my life. My first experiences were when my sisters took ballet lessons and I just adapted some of the moves to myself. Um, my first formal experience was square dancing. That's real fun when you have four people in chairs trying to do-si-do -do around each other. I think it's important that you pick a bar with the kind of music you like, and it's the kind of music you like, you're normally going to meet the kind of friends that you would normally hang around. And um, once you meet someone and start dancing, and you become comfortable with them, and then you'll, the movements will come together and it'll all kind of flow. You really have to know what you're comfortable and what kind of moves are most comfortable for you to do. And, and I found that when we started dancing, we were not necessarily comfortable uh, touching each other and moving around with each other. I think that's true whether you're able-bodied or whether you're in a wheelchair. You have to get used to being intimate with someone before you can really feel comfortable dancing with them. I think it's hard for some people who aren't in wheelchairs to go out and dance, and, and so people who are in wheelchairs, you know, should have, feel comfortable with their difficulties at first, but they'll get over that. 
It's just getting over that initial inhibition that people are watching you. Um, it's important to go with friends, and it's also an opportunity to meet new people and make new friends. My first experiences with dancing were real positive, probably because I didn't think about it. I was just out there listening to the music and, and out with friends, and um, just all of a sudden I was dancing with, with my friends. I think if I had been somewhere where I didn't know anyone, it would have been a lot more difficult. One thing that uh, is really important is that you have to make sure that there's a lot of room. Um, I don't like to go someplace where there's a lot of people crowding into me and crashing all over me and spilling beer on me. And that can be really intimidating. The first time Rena and I went out dancing was on a Tuesday night. So there was no crowd and, and we had a lot of room that we could move around in as we ended up doing a lot of spins and things together. So we were able to get our confidence up, uh, me in particular, that this is something that we can do together, that it's not really that hard to do. At first I worried about hurting Rena. I was afraid that I might her arms because we were doing a lot of spins, but uh, that's why you practice and you communicate. And I found out that she is anything but delicate. You know, I've never been into competitive sports or you know, competitive wheelchair racing or anything like that, but I've always been into music and, and dancing, and dancing through one set of music is a real workout I've found. I think it's the same thing as with athletics, and that is that as long as you're having fun and getting some good exercise. Bonnie kind of drug me out there, and I was a little hesitant at first, but then I said, hey, I've done it before, I can do it again. I'm not using my legs, but I'm using my upper body. So uh, I got out there, had a good time, and I just can't stay away from the place now. Sometimes I'll um, ask some of the ladies out uh, at the club uh, to dance, and first it they're kind of hesitant about dancing with me because they know I'm in a wheelchair. But then after they see I get out there and I'm having a good time, they say, what the heck, let's go. What's really important is, is being open, being open to new experiences and perceiving and seeing things in, in different ways. This is really important in dance because if you are open to trying new ways of moving and dancing with new people, then it's really fun. Before I go out wheelchair dancing, I normally check the bar out while it's quiet. Uh, scope it out and see if it's accessible and get used to the bar and the atmosphere when no one's there. Normally, uh, you'll know more what it's going to be like later on when it gets crowded. Practice helps, but dancing is one of those things that you can't mess up that badly. After his injury, Mike approached problems as though they were puzzles that had many answers, and most of these answers were new and, and unfamiliar. The first time we danced, we had to try out a lot of new things, but we had practice sessions like this one to work on new moves. Dance can be a wonderful form of creative expression, something everyone can experience. I never was a student of dance performance, but as Bonnie and I got into dancing, we thought it would be fun to choreograph a piece. We wanted to do something slow, and I remembered an old song I wrote that was slow, but had a neat fast part at the end.
performance in this sequence are similar to stages that many disabled people go through after their injuries. Sadness, isolation, grief, reaching out for a connection or a reconnection. And then after making a reconnection, it expresses a, a sense of joy or rebirth. We tried to keep the dance very simple, simple and also sincere. Chester, are you still coming over tonight? Well, hurry up. I've got something new I'd like for us to try. Just come on over. I'll tell you about it when you get here. Better yet, I'll show you. Hurry up. 